this is the second of the brief foray that we're having into Dungeon World. Um, so far, it's, it's going okay. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I don't know about the players. You're the only one. They're all, yeah, yeah. They're, they're quivering in sorrow. But this is um, Delve Beyond Vunam, the Dwarven Fortress, uh, Episode 2, Part 1. And we're joined by a fourth player. Uh, hi. Uh, welcome, Hello. Welcome to the show again. Um, Thank so you. I'm having before... a panic attack. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. Excellent. So before we go into that, um, how's everyone's week been? How's it? How's it gone? Uh, I'll go first, obviously, because I'm <laughs> self-obsessed. Hello, I'm Blaje. I'm the GM. I pretend to run the thing. Um, my week has been. Hmm. Week's been okay. Um. I haven't really done much. Mainly, mainly just work. Uh, been training to do a new thing at work, so that's the only bit of excitement. Other than the fact that the deadline for the work that should have been done is now... It's now. It's, uh, tomorrow, there will be work that should have been done yesterday. But um, nothing I can do about that since we have one less person than we did like two weeks ago, uh, someone left to go to a new job, and they haven't been replaced. Um, so it's kind of the situation of, ah, do we need that third person? Yeah, we do. We do. Um, so it's been a bit busy. Uh, played Dark Heresy on the weekend. Always like a spot of Dark Heresy. Um, I I had a very fun time getting uh, drunk in game with another player and shooting wildly at targets and avoiding my gun blowing up in my hands. That was very fun. Dark Heresy certainly does like to have guns that blow up in your hands. Hands? Hand? In your hands. Um, apart from that, not much. Not much at all. How about you, Mike? You been up to much? Oh, yeah. My brother's about to marry next month, and uh, our and friends... And you couldn't talk him out of it? No, 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 no. It's fine. It's his deal. Uh, his fault. Um, <laughs> happy well someone is willing to take him off our hands. But our friends and I, we took him for a long weekend from Thursday to Sunday and rented a shack in Austria and drinking barbecue and paintball. And I've never played paintball in my life before. It's really great. Rush B. Always rush B. And don't get hit in the throat three times because it hurts. Tell me, did, did you perhaps get hit in the throat three times? Yeah, and the fourth shot was directly into my mask, so I didn't see shit. <laughs> uh, A drupal okay. headshot, because double tapping is for noobs. Well, you know, they just wanted to be very sure you knew you were dead. You know? Yeah, I, I if you, knew. If you shoot them point. in the chest, they might be like, ah, nah, it didn't hit me. didn't hit me. Yeah, no, it bounces off on my iron chest, my massive abs and shit. <laughs> And besides that, great weekend, lots of drinking, lots of fun, uh, great weather. Uh, besides that, I've been starting another playthrough of Witcher 3 because I'll buy the DLC soon and I, I can't just warm out my old playthrough, that would be lame. So You're starting afresh? I started fresh doing all... Every, I, in the first place, I did all the question marks and everything, and now I do all the question marks and everything. But this time I'll go with Yennefer instead of Triss, even though it breaks my little heart. Well, uh, I went for Triss in the in the first playthrough and yeah. fucked it up royally. No, oh, you wanted to do double time on both. That's not how it works, Flash. I didn't. It was just yeah. the, the game wiggles you. It puts you in a position, yeah. and then yeah. and then you make the wrong choice once, and boom, it's all over. No. Once they talk to each other, game over, man. Game over. Yeah, don't let your women talk to each other. Oh, uh, but um, <laughs> no, I because uh, the DLC came out, I uh, went back because I I completed it played the Hearts of Stone DLC, and then started a new game plus. Got about two-thirds of the way through the main game, then stopped because other games came out that I was playing, which I can't actually remember now, which is a credit to how good The Witcher is. And then uh, the Blood and Wine DLC came out, and I went back and completed my <laughs> uh, new game plus. Because yeah, no, I, didn't I wanna... figured I'll buy them at the end of the month when I get paid, so I'll start playing Witcher 3 now, so I have a proper game Only where I'm high month. level enough mm, to start not... the DLCs instant. It's not long enough, man. It's not long enough. Yeah, the first playthrough I, I, I looked it up, I played about 99 hours. In this playthrough, I'm in already for 50. <laughs> Best game ever. If you haven't played Witcher 3, get it. It's good. It's good. But is it as good as Paintball? Um, it doesn't hurt quite as much. 
<laughs> no, just kidding. Painful. You should play Dark Souls. You should play it probably with more than a T-shirt. Then it doesn't hurt as much. But yeah, you should uh, try Airsoft. Too warm. Also, uh, since Hentai is here, have you seen the E3 footage of Bannerlord? <laughs> what? Mountain Blade 3 Bannerlord. New Siege nope, footage. I have not. I I'll send you the link later. Yeah, it was. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Is E3? I saw Kojima. Yeah, E3, E3 is happening right now. Mm. Might have to E3 is like. I've been like consuming E3 this whole week. <laughs> week. Is there like a tentacle beast or how does it relate to me? Uh, no, because I remember you said you play um, Mountain Blade Warband a lot. Oh, they're putting out a new game. Yeah, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, which is the same, only better and easier to mod and great. I, I linked you to a link. Have fun later. I talked enough already. Next guy. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you. So, um, so Andy, how's your, your week been? Yeah, my week and weekend. Uh, mainly I've been watching E3, like every press conference and all that stuff. So stayed up until 5 a.m. last night <clears throat> watching that. Any highlights? Um, mm, well, the Sony press conference was like incredible. Like, uh, like Microsoft and others, like they talk a lot and blah blah, like buy stuff, buy stuff, buy stuff. But that was just tra trailer after tra trailer after trailer and just hype, like rising, like awesome games, like a new God of War and. Uh, like a new David Cage game and uh, what uh, there's the horizon with the, like robot dinosaurs and arch archery and it's pretty good and now I'm hyped for the Nintendo Three House Live which is going on right now where they're showing the new the Legend of Zelda hmm. And it's gonna be open world, and it hopefully will be good. Hopefully, maybe good. Hopefully, That's maybe kind good. Of good. Yeah. Also, played a little bit of Dark Souls every now and then, like the Dark Souls one. Just killed Bed of Chaos today. <laughs> yeah. Bed of Chaos was always weird for me because when you do the thing, and you die and you come back, the thing's still done, and you're like. This is... Mm. it's weird. Yeah, like, this isn't how the game has worked so far. <laughs> this boss has... <coughs> progress? What? Mm. Huh? Um, also, that last thing with the bed of chaos, the, the, the jump? Fuck mm. it. Fuck, fuck jumping. I did, it in, I did it in two tries. It was really good. Good <laughs> fight with him. <laughs> Well, that's because you're good and blush is not. Yeah, obviously so. <laughs> Bring it for later, GM. Bring it. That's that's you're gonna okay. Die. Um, so, Lena, you feel the hand of your rapier gripping tighter. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, and other than E3, you get up to anything over this last week? Mm, not really. Just, just enjoying my. Summer vacation for now. Maybe should leave the house soon and maybe travel somewhere to relatives. <laughs> or the, the summer cottage or something like that. Just loitering around for now. Okay. So, <laughs> what, are, what, are, what have you been up to for the last week? What have I been up to last week? Uh, studying for exams mostly. I'm in the uh, exam season. Yeah. Take a break. Take a break. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Probably too much. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, what else have I been up to? Been playing Minecraft, Steam World Heist, which is pretty fun, I guess. Uh, SWAT 4 with my friends. Also a fun game. Recommended for co op. Uh, and I've also been playing in Heavy's campaign, which is pretty fun. A lot of memes. A lot of memes. Yeah, that's pretty much my whole week. Fair enough. Um, Heavy's campaign, D&D? 
Uh, yeah, 5e. Cool. And how's the weather? Oh, the weather. It's getting worse, actually. Unfortunately. Yeah. Rain today. That was novel. <laughs> actually, I prefer the rain yeah, to the summer. Yeah, floods in Germany, so... Yeah, okay. So, uh, Hentai, it's been a while since we saw you. Yeah, too long. I missed this. Well, uh, welcome, welcome back to something a bit different. Um, what you been up to? Um, I watched a few movies lately. Deadpool, pretty cool. Yeah, Deadpool was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I started reading a comic actually, the first comic ever, called The Preacher. Oh. It's about. Yes. I have yeah, it was sold to me that it was uh, dark for the sake of being dark, and there's people with sex sexual deviancies, and I was like, I'm so. Isn't there a series coming out? A preacher Netflix? series, I think so. Yeah, I, it's I saw based on the comic. So yeah, I've been reading that. It's been pretty fun. And that's all. I also seen Zootopia, so all the furries. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Zootopia is a, a, a movie where basically everybody's an animal. Oh, an yeah, now I got it, the new Pixar thing. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty yeah. good, actually. Yeah. No, uh, sorry. Hentai said it and said furries, and I imagined something way darker. Yeah, it's popular among furries. Yeah, yeah I, ex I get why. Right. Yeah, but knowing you, Hentai, I imagined some more tentacle shit going on. I don't know. I don't think there are any octopi in it. It's a shame, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're bigoted. They only feature land breathing. Animals? I, I think oh, it's racism. mammals only. I haven't seen it, but that's what I've heard. Yeah, that's true actually. But there's not even like not lizards or anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's all for me. Nothing special. Okay, so. Before we hop into uh, what, what, who you're playing, Hentai, as we'll have to find out, um, I just want to turn to the, the players uh, and have them fill you in. We'll, we'll see. So, Anty, if you don't mind me uh, picking on you, um, mm -hmm. who are you playing? I am playing uh, Damari. She's a <clears throat> human fighter. She's a mo monster hunter. <clears throat> like being, going around the world killing different kinds of monsters uh, as kind of a witcher type character with her trusty spear and now she's on this adventure and uh, and uh, she has had pretty bad luck so far and Lena has been writing a song about her that she thinks is not what her story is supposed to be. Yeah, well. Okay, shit happens. So, why are you, and by extension the the other two, here in in the in the cave of Hunan? What brought you here? Yeah, it was uh, my my mission. Like I was hired to exterminate whatever evil beast lurks within this cave and. I don't know, these two just stacked along. <laughs> okay. One wants to write a song about me and the other is following me for some other weird reason. <clears throat> okay. The spirits told me that you were in danger and I needed to help you. I can grow it high as fuck. Okay, so Waleko, who are you playing? And I'm... what's your connection here? Oh, I'm playing Sybil. Uh, my main connection is... Uh, Got your name, Damari. Damari, uh, spirits told me that Damari was being hunted by a, uh, by some danger. Some danger followed Damari, and that danger might prey on my on my sacred forest. And I need to protect my sacred forest and nature in general uh, from Damari. And, and since having uh, ascended the Thornwind Peaks and reaching the the caves of Vunam, the sights you have seen. What have they been, and 
how do they color your interpretation of this quest? Oh, uh, my quest is pretty spot on, I guess. Uh, we, we spotted some weird possessed wolves that explode on attacking their stomach, I guess. And we were just pursued into this cave. We're in the middle of a cave right now. And we were attacked by a blob because somebody was too loud with their music. No, we don't quite know why the blob came and attacked. Let's just <laughs> not jump to conclusions. Okay. Uh, yeah, that blob attacked us. Pretty weird. Pretty dangerous. Lost my staff because of it. Uh, you could have had an awesome ice staff, but declined. Your fault. I will always decline. Okay. But anyway, yeah, that's and pretty much what happened. With the with regards to the the obvious corruption <coughs> here in nature, is there a worry that this corruption will spread to the great forest, your homeland? Yes, there is a worry, of course. Okay. So, does your your quest then go beyond watching for Damari's death? Right now, yes. Okay. And um, Mike, uh, who are you playing? What's Lina, your, what's Bartes your connection? Extraordinaire. I am the bard in the known lands. If you heard a song, I probably wrote it. And if you hear anyone sing, it's probably not as good as if I do it. Uh, my original plan was to wander around um, following the known fightress and monster slayer Damari to write a ballad about her deeds. Turns out, upon close examination, she isn't that much of a fighter and isn't that lucky of a monster slayer, so it will be more of a comical song. But hey, the people in the taverns love a good, la love a good laugh, so I roll with it. Also, okay. the druid guy, completely weird, kind of useless, has a tree sprouting out of his chest. And that's yeah. not, not the only thing that you have, is it, Sybil? Sybil, describe your arms. My arms? My arms are pretty hairy. They're thick brown fur, almost. He fucked up. Is it, is it safe to say, Sybil, that you have bare arms? Yes, it's pretty safe to say that. Pretty okay. close to that. Excellent. And and a tree sprouting out of your chest, yes. Like a little sapling that's wrapped around your neck. Yeah. And, yep. Mike, if you could be so kind as to paint us a picture of the current situation... You hear well, the snarl of wolves, and we focus in on Lena, slowly panning back. What do we see about her state of being, and then where do we see her? Uh, first, we imagine her in her fine, extraordinary leather armor doublet over her extreme exquisite clothing. That's how you see her normally. Uh, right now, we're up Shits Creek without a paddle, if you pardon my French. Um... We've pretty much, everyone has lost some dear part of equipment. We're all pretty wrecked, wounded, bleeding in the middle of this cave, standing over the dead ooze that came here for no reason at all and attacked us. <coughs> and first thought that comes to mind is, we need to rest, guys. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, so there's this pack of maybe a dozen or more snarling wolves just beyond this rotted wooden portcullis that stretches between two stone towers. The portcullis is currently closed and sturdy enough defense to protect you from the wolves that lie on the other side. Your rule stood around a rapidly bubbling and dripping away mass of writhing pseudo flesh. And there is a small stream which is leading down from a, uh, cracked dark pathway it's obviously not like a natural cavern floor it's a work stone of dwarves so and as we as we see you looking down we see you your shirt torn open your leather armor gone uh, and you're holding this strange rapier with uh, like a hand gripping yours and perhaps for a moment we we hear your heartbeat lena and then we pull back and let's find out hentai what are you, what are you yeah, going to be hello. playing? Let's, let's go through it. Yeah. Do, you, do you know what, what class you want to play? Yeah, I'm going to play the emulator. Okay, let's, let's hop into it. Uh, right. The emulator. Uh, that's an I. Let's be alphabetical brain. Uh, there we go. Cool. Um, so first up, do you have a name? The one given upon me on the character sheet. Cool. So, the Grau Epin. Uh, could you spell could that, 
Take something that we actually can pronounce, please. <laughs> I didn't take it. It was directly on the character sheet as it was given to me. You can choose one of those. Yeah, yeah. Or come up with you. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> I, I, if you have another name, give it to me. I don't care. I mean, there's, there's them on the enough. panel. Uh, Solomon, <laughs> Timothy, Kalel, Omen, Jan, that, Nico, That would Agasha, depend if he wants to Harold, be a salamander Katia. as well. Oh yeah, Sulphur Heart, Flame Walker, Ember Lash, Cinderclaw. What? He can be a fucking Salamon? What? It's an emulator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Regral, Epine. You know what? Call myself Bob. Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> Bob is not an accepted name. No, be you. No, I'm not Bob, Bob. Bob Which is, is short for Bobblius. I'm afraid I don't allow three-letter names with more than two Bs. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not more than two Bs, it's exactly two Bs, so that one should... Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid that a capital Perfect. B counts as two. All right, random name generator. <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> there are su suggestions on the character creation for your class. I, I, yeah... Take your middle thing. name if you have one, kid. Tour. Spell that. Tour. Please. There we go. Or, but to Scandinavian Russia. Act from Avengers. But um, no, I'm not taking. I like English random name. Odell. Could you spell that, please? Odell. Odell. Okay. Okay. Odell. Yeah. The human emulator. Uh, what races are there? Uh, human or salamander? <laughs> salamander is Agonian Skyrim? Yeah, Pardon? basically. Agonian in Skyrim. Uh, human. human. Cool. So, let's um, go through it. So, you have uh, scores to assign to Strength, Dex, Con, Intelligence, Wisdom and Charisma. And they are 16, 15, 13, 12, 9 and 8. So or I could roll them. No, you, you can't. Sorry. No, you yeah, always decide. It's sad in the book I could roll them. No, ah, not yeah, in this part. but I'm the GM, so no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's good for the emulator? Yeah, I can't find the um, emulator. I believe the emulator uses uh, mainly con and maybe charisma, is it? Con wisdom, and I wisdom. think. Con and... Con and wisdom. And... You no, know, intelligence. Charisma, charisma... Charisma. Con, wisdom, yeah, charisma, wisdom. yeah. Yeah, con, wisdom, and charisma are their okay. main ones. And con is really important, else we all die. Don't worry about uh, con. If you choose eight con, it's the best that you can possibly get. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> you're stressing me out so okay. hard. Um, so, let's, so, what do I use to cast spells? Um, depends on the spell. Spell so much as an emulator, you just summon fire, and you do that with con. con. Uh, uh, are, right. are you? Do you have the player play sheet thing that? Yeah, I linked it again. Yeah, one of them didn't have the emulator class that we have. Yeah, I linked the one with the emulator. Yeah. Um. And uh, wisdom was the next most important thing for me. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So 14, right? So just just tell me what you're putting where as you go through. Can you give me the scores again? Yes. Uh, strength, in Dex, chat. Con, Int, Wiz, Charisma. Um, 16, 15, 13, 12, 9, 8. 16, 15, 13, 12, 9, 8. I can't remember that. Someone give it to, it to me in the chat. I did in, in oh, Thank running. you. 16. Uh, 15, 13. And that's how you do the modifiers. But the sheet does them automatically, just so you know, though. 9, 8. All right, uh, strength 8. Oh, totally fine, nine. you don't. You're a weakling anyway. Constitution 16, intelligence 12, wisdom 15, charisma 13. Okay, and your dex is. Nine? Yeah. So not a minus one this time. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. 12 is nothing. 13 is plus 1. 15 is plus 1. Cool. Um, so, do you see where it says look? And you have body, eyes, voice, and demeanor? Yeah, uh, just a No, no, I don't see it. On okay. the link I gave you. Okay, so... Um, oh, it's not in the character sheet, right? No, no, no. All right. You should see uh, body. You can choose to be strange brands, ritual scars, or perfect skin. Uh, strange brands. Okay. I'm not so entirely sure what that is. What, what do they look like? The strange brands are like uh, burns or um, uh, like... You know when someone presses like hot metal to you, it's a brand? Like, what do these oh. look like, though? Um, uh, I'm bald and burned over, all over the place. Just oh. fucked up. Yeah, burn marks everywhere. Okay. We talking Nicky Lauda? I, I don't know names. Mm. Okay, you might be too young for that. Okay, so with your eyes, you can have Don't smoldering. Don't remember me. You can have smoldering, warm, or searing. How do your eyes look? I would say searing. Searing. So, do people get uncomfortably hot when they stare into your eyes? Or do they, like, literally burn with a red flame? Mmm... Uh, hmm. I, uh, yeah, they, f they feel weirded out, at least. Okie dokie. The pupils yeah. are little flames that burn inside his eyes. Yeah, totally. Cool. And your voice, is it crackling, whispering, or roaring? Uh, hmm. How would I want to play this? Crackling. Crackling. So does it summon images of, like... Blackened wood. The charred remains of a fire. Okay. And your demeanor? Is it a imperious bearing, manic attitude, or barely hidden rage? That should be a question. <laughs> uh, manic attitude. Yes, yeah, surprise. Maniac attitude. Cool. And your alignment? Are you evil? Sacrifice an unwilling victim to the flames. Chaotic. Spread a dangerous new idea. Or neutral. Exchange a sacrifice freely given for a service rendered. Mm. Um, and those those descriptions are things that will give you XP. So if you're evil and you sacrifice an unwilling to, victim to the flames, XP. If you're neutral and you exchange a sacrifice freely given for a service rendered, XP. This is one of the methods in which you get Once XP. per session... Not every time you burn something, just so you know. <laughs> so I won't burn all the party as one of you? Hmm. One, uh, one per session. Can we take that one for later? We need to think okay. about it. Um, uh. Let's see, do you get equipment? Let's go to your equipment then. Um, you carry no weapons and need no armor but the flames that burn within you. You begin with a symbol of your sacrifice's past. So what is this symbol that speaks to the a sacrifice? Fly. A fly? Yeah. Oops. Um, Not a firefly, but a fly. Like, a, is this a, like a little living insect, or is it like preserved in amber? What does this look like? Um, it's a symbol, right? Yeah. Is it like, um, is it like a, something cast in silver or bronze? Is it like carved out of wood? Is it an object rather than an insect? Uh, no, I probably have like a pet flag, at least. Well, what are you going to do when it dies? Flies don't live very long. <laughs> All right, I take a fly of non-burning wood. <laughs> a fly of non-burning wood, so a wooden fly. And is it like Whatever large burning around wood. neck? It's around my neck. Okay. And why does this symbolize no, it's a... uh, sacrifices you've had to make in the past? Oh, does it symbolize sacrifices I've made in the past? Yeah. God, I didn't, should have really read this. Where can I even see these, que these questions? I gave you the link. 
it says a symbol of your sacrifices past. Oh, it's a symbol of my sacrifices past. Yeah. Um, oh well, then I would have um, uh, like a, a picture of a family instead. Ah, so perhaps does this wooden fly? Is it like a, a locket that you open up, and there's a picture of a family in there? Yeah. Sound good. Okay. It's a locket. Uh, is it round your neck two then? Times. Um, yeah, it goes around my neck. Oh, okay. Family. Little family uh, painting. Yeah. Okay. And other equipment. Um, you have adventuring gear. Congratulations. Adventuring gear works a bit differently in this game. It's You have five uses, and if you want anything that's a mundane adventuring equipment item like grapple, uh, lantern, you just say it's in your backpack, and you pull it out, and it is... And then you cross off a use, and it's uh, five uses, one weight. Um, so, and you also have one healing potion. One healing potion. And a healing potion, you just drink it, and it, I think it's seven or nine or something, it just gives you health back. And then choose two. Dungeon rations, a healing potion, or ten coins. And you can choose two from those three. You might not notice at uh, this point, but we're in no Dungeon rations shop. and healing potion. Say that again? Dungeon Rations and Healing Potion. Easy choice. And Dungeon Rations. Okay. Dungeon Rations are five uses and one weight. Okay, so that's all your equipment. Um, so, immolators don't need weapons, they don't need armor. They have uh, this ability called Burning Brand, and it just allows you to conjure a weapon of pure fire. Um, whenever you take right. damage, you can fight fire with fire, and like, uh, what is it? Is it and the damage is odd. Uh, is the damage is odd? You can ignore it, I think, isn't there? Or is that one of the modifications? Ah. Uh, no, he can then you can uh, reduce the damage use by his weapon default. longer. Or yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's when you take damage and that damage is odd, roll a d4 and add that to your burning brand, or take it uh, forward to summon it, or reduce the damage yeah. by that amount. Um, also, you can ask people you first questions. Section. Hit points, though, because that's important. Yep, um, your hit points are 4 plus your constitution. So, uh, your constitution is 16, so you have 20 HP. That's your HP. Um, oh. Death and dying works a bit differently in this game to, than to Dungeons & Dragons. When you hit 0, you're dead. You go yep. to death. You roll 2d6 yeah. on a 10 plus, death's, death's going to give you a pass. Six minus, you're going across the river. Seven to nine, death will make a deal with you. And if you don't accept it, you're dead. Um, and that's that's how death works. So keep an eye on your hit points. Um, your armor is zero, because you have no armor. Uh, alignment. Have you made a choice on your alignment? Mm -hmm. I think I will take neutral. Neutral. Okay, dokes. Neutral. Um, willing sacrifice for service. Vice for service. Okay. And you're human, so whenever you make camp near a big ass fire, you get all your hit points back instead of half. Uh, you can bend fire to your will, and you can craft metal objects without the need of a forge. Okay. Um, so Let's. That's that's your character. You, you're done. Um, let's yeah. find out how your character fits into the into the, the story. So, do you know any of Sybil, Damari, or um, Lena? Uh, with Dari and Gungriff, I would probably know Sybil because I was raised by flies. With what? You're raised by flies. <laughs> yes, that's Dari and Gungriff. Um, I'm afraid, right. uh, flies? I, I feel like there's a bit more information there needed. Yeah, please explain. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, uh, well, we'll take Describe that later. flies. They don't have any tits to suckle a baby on, I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't mass of flies. They hunt and, like, take the remains, carry them over to the dying baby. Uh, how big are these flies? 
Oh, they're normal size, but there are a lot of them. I call bullshit. Um, I, 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 I call. I, I don't think. I call we had any. Oh, and my entire idea is in the trash. Yeah, I've uh, come up with a new idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Tough shit, boy. Um, hmm. Lord of the yeah. Flies. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm blank, so... Yeah. I'll, I'll try to help you. Uh, what was your trinket that symbolizes your sacrifices best? Yeah, it was a family because I was abandoned in the forest to flies. That was my idea. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, hmm. So basically a wooden locket? Something like that? Yeah. But basically you're yeah. a crazy fire pyromaniac magical fire throwing guy, right? Yeah, with fireflies. Well, with fire. I got this bond that I have showed somebody a secret right of the land. But... You use fire, which is pretty dangerous in nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you don't know him, but you don't. Uh, you know me because I've made. I've traveled the lands far and wide writing songs. Yeah, yeah maybe I spent like a night at a tavern, got extremely drunk, and reported it all night long. <laughs> yeah, ah. I'm good for it. So you you think that you've uh, got drunk with Lena before? Okay. Yeah, probably. Did uh, Lena perhaps tell you her intentions to go to Vunan? And have, yeah, have you therefore met Damari? Were Damari and Lena traveling together at that time? I, I definitely told him about my plans to seek out Damari and write a ballad. And yeah. Okay, so it, it sounds like you got drunk one night with Lena, and you know about their intent, but you didn't go with them. So how how did you end up here? What's what's the plan? Are you gonna teleport in by some arcane ritual? Um, <laughs> did you follow us because he secretly fell in love with Lena? Is yeah. That it? Yep. Totally. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, but that is uh, it. Yeah, I'm going with that. We had found fire guy. Okay. That's a funny case. Yes. Some last. He's one of my fans. He's a fangirl. That's how it works. <laughs> Fanboy. <laughs> Don't you feel my flaming passion for your songs? Okay. <laughs> so, when you realized they had gone, you set out to, to follow them. Alone? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can I do something with this idea of flies? I really like flaming flies. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, you can make fly people or big ass flies. Uh, I'm not gonna let you have like tiny flies taking care of you. <laughs> um, like you have to expand upon this idea of these flies. Um, Are they demon flies? Were you raised? Nah, feels above maybe, but uh, uh, maybe I like to follow some. Uh, or maybe no, just doesn't work it. that you were raised by flies, and this is all like some lucid dream. Yeah, totally. I mean, but I really want, to, like, I really want to describe magic as like a swarm of burning flies. But you can do that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, maybe then that these flies are just a magical manifestation of some great hive. Yeah, maybe yeah, the flies yeah, maybe, are not actually living beings at all, it's just that there is... This maybe my fire. family was like real dicks, and when I was bad, they just left me in a room with thousands of flies, and they just uh, left a mark on me. Maybe? And you burned all of them in your anger. Yeah, maybe I burned down the place, and the flies burned inside me. Okay. So, yeah. and I want you to pick one bond uh, from the list. Um, so... Blank has felt the hellish touch of fire, now they know my strengths. I will teach Blank the true meaning of sacrifice, or I cast something into the fire for Blank and still owe them their due. Pick one of them. You can still make some up if none of that works. Can you? You can, yeah. But I would like you to pick one of them. And pick one of the one of the people. Uh hmm. Uh, 
Who here has had the jolliest life? The what? The, the what? Most jolly life. Jolly. Happy. Least uh, tragic. Least I, I go from town to town and sing and get paid yeah, and drink. I sort of already have a bond with you. I can't... Mm. Do what, like, all I can imagine is with you and I need a bond with someone else. Well, the druid is pretty fucked up. He's like, all oh, trees are nice, trees are cool. <laughs> Yeah, trees. Nature. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to show him, like, fire is better than trees. You will teach me the true meaning of sacrifice. Yeah. By fire. Okay, <laughs> so... Okay, I will teach uh, Sybil the true meaning of sacrifice, and your other bond will be... I will convince Lena of the flames of my passion. <laughs> yes. 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 Those, those uh, are your bonds. Eloquent way to say uh, sex, yes. Flames of passion. So, also, uh, I, since Sybil... he started this, all I think of is Arthur Brown's fire. I am the god of hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, could you please roll 2d6 plus wisdom? And before you roll, um, 7 to 9 is a qualified success. Uh, 10 plus is you get what you want. Six minus is you fail, and I tell you what happens. But on a six minus, you get experience. Yeah. Mm, okay. So I should actually be really good at this. Okay. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. And... Uh, also, have you looked at yeah. your starting moves, Hentai? Uh, should I have a look at them? Yeah, you should look at them. Uh, they're in the link if you for your emulator. That's basically what you can do. That's your spells and attack moves and whatever you can do. It doesn't have to be combat only. It's some social stuff as well. Uh, starting moves, burning brand, fighting fire with fire, suko style, give me fuel, give me fire, and handcrafted. That's the stuff your character can do. That's your magic at the moment. Of course, you still can shoot a bow and attack with a sword or do all that fancy stuff or parlay with people. That's the standard moves. But those starting moves are what your character alone can do because he's with fire and weird. Okay. And anything that you do that isn't, isn't a move, uh, there's no mechanical way for you to do it. It's you tell me you're doing it and I'll tell you what happens. So, for example, with the, the fighter is the only one that can like smash stuff mechanically. So if anyone else tries to smash stuff, it's it's up in the air whether it'll succeed or whether it'll make a loud, massive cacophony and everyone will come and kill them. Um, or whether the whole thing just falls apart. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's important. Okay, so with yeah, that... You should, sorry, you should put down those moves in your character sheet uh, so you can see them on the moves. Okay, so... With a um, with a seven to nine on this roll, you follow uh, Lena, and you learn in the town of Hollow's Vale. You learn that she left uh, with um, Damari and this druid Sybil for Vunam, and they're they're ahead of you, not by much though. And as you as you climb the Thorn Wind peaks. You see the loose, rocky scree tumbling down from above, and you hear the echoing, baying barks of wolves in the night. Perhaps past a battlefield where there are several corpses, their guts entangled and shattered around. And then, a mere few hours later, you find a tree, clawed marks marring its base, and you can see hanging from the top a grapple lodged in the branch, quickly rusting as the sap claims it for its own. You know that uh, the people you seek are up ahead and they have not forged the most direct path to Vunam. They have, they have loitered and they have entered into Vunam through the trade entrance. However, as you begin to get within earshot, as the, I think the sun's probably setting behind you, casting you in this dull red glow you can see that between you and them there's at least a, a dozen or so wolves you doubt they can see you as the sun casts behind you making this uh, like pillar of black upon a field of red 
but you know that in order to uh, get to your your colleagues, well, erstwhile soon to be colleagues, you're either going to have to fight your way through a, a dozen hungry wolves, or delve through a planar portal of hell. What do you want to do? Uh, dive through a planar portal of hell, without a doubt. Obviously. Yeah. No questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I want you to uh, roll two d six plus your con, and we'll see how this goes. Tell me, tell me first. Okay, yeah, it's it's going the way you want it. Tell me, tell me first. How, like you know that you're going to have to do some some powerful magic to get through there. What are you uh... going to sacrifice to do this, and how do you do it? Uh, am I close to tree? Mm -hmm. The mighty uh, iron firs like rise up as solitary behemoths upon this mountainside. Yeah. Uh, well, I set fire to a dozen trees. Like I... even getting one of these things to a light, they are like they're massive. These things are like they're not close <laughs> together. They're very far apart, and they're massive. Um, do I have any? All right, I'm going to look for magic abilities. Uh, is there like, hmm. Um, so what, so what are you looking for at the moment? I want to set fire to something. Yeah, you can just do it. You're a, you're a bloody emulator. You can just fire with your hands. You are fire. Setting, setting a tree but can on I fire set fire to a tree? Yeah. So what's it look like when you conjure this flame from your hands? Uh, like... Uh, from, the, from the sleeve, a mass of swarm of flies emerges and swarms around this tree and eats it slowly until it just becomes flame. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So as you engulf this burning tree in the fire, you feel the wash of warmth royal past you. You hear the barking howls of wolves as they realize that this inferno has appeared and they see you. They smell your scent upon the air, and you see maybe six or so of them begin running towards you. But as you stare into the flame, you see darkness ahead. The darkness that only a cave can bring. You see the cold cave walls, and limed by this burning light, you see Lena's face. So Lena, you see... You're standing in this cave, and you suddenly see one of the, the cavern walls begin to glow red hot. What you will do? I uh, jump up and scream, What the fuck? There's another thing! <laughs> and prepare my handy rapier. <laughs> okay, so what does your face look like, Lena? Well, at this point, bloody and dirty. Okay, so this is, this is the face yes, you I see... Uh, Odell. This is the face you see limed in dark fire in the center of this tree. Yeah? Yep. Uh, I walk inside. Okay. So you step into the tree as the, the wolves nip at your heels and the tree explodes. <laughs> Those of you within the, the cave, you hear this like thunderous crack like uh, as though a bolt of lightning hits a tree and then you see the wolves just beyond the portcullis, like, barking and baying and, like, lurching off into the setting sun beyond. The burning hot, uh, like, patch of stone wall begins to grow and grow until it's maybe about the size of uh, two people standing on top of each other and three people standing shoulder to shoulder. And then this form of molten um, stone steps out and you just feel this massive wash of heat. And then there's a, like a, a cracking sound like of a mirror, 
of like a uh, glass, very very like delicate kind of, kink. and the all the heat just vanishes. At this point, I would like to jump forward and stab that thing with my dagger. I have my rapier. Okay, and yep, with a with a ten, uh, you're not going to suffer anything uh, uh, there. Um, You've already pierced my heart. Oh, so as you lunge forward, this. as you lunge forward with the rapier, the um, wash of heat drives you back a step, and you see a face, and then suddenly the entire tunnel is cold, cold as the graveyard, and you see a face perhaps you've only ever seen once before, the face of Odell. And Odell, you you're just stood there. It's cold. It's dark. There's only the light of a lantern, and you can see uh, Lena's face in front of you. Um, oh, what a... Oh, sorry. No, carry on. Oh, what a coincidence. What are you guys doing here? What the fuck? I I'm gonna charge him and, like, wrestle him down to the ground. And, like, hold him there and, like, I want to inter inter interrogate him. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. Just, uh, I think that would be... Let's see. So... Hmm. Odell, um, Damari runs at you. She's a, a woman and she throws her arms wide. What do you do? Kick him in the face. <laughs> well, that's definitely hack and slash. Uh, would you like to roll a uh, uh, dice plus your strength, um, Odell? Yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> not, not for you, Hentai, sorry. You could have Explain. dodged, dude. It's, uh, uh, it's Odell's. It's, you don't get XP for that roll because I didn't request yeah. it. Oh, wait, I did. I said yep. Odell, damn it. Yeah, that'll yeah, be. Mm -hmm. Mark XP, Odell. Yep. Yeah, my plan. Yeah, that's fair that's enough. Freaking. That's how failing wow. is nice in this game. You still like, yeah, XP. Yeah, and I, know I also fail at getting people's names right. So, Odell, you like turn around to face Damari. Damari, tell me what happens. Yeah, well, he's gonna. Like, I see the kick coming. I grab his leg and like throw him around and like sma smash him to the ground like on his belly and I like uh, lean on his back like I'm lying on top of him holding his neck under my hand. Oh god damn that hurt. <laughs> Is it another one of those things? Okay, so What um, are you? Who are you? Why are you here? Where did you come from? Okay, Sybil, um, what are you doing at this point as, uh, like, Damari tackles down this interloper? Ooh, tough question. I, <laughs> even I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand there uh, wary, because this guy just came out of a portal. Is he a demon? Is he um, the, the, the danger? Intelligence? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, mark experience for that. Then I'm going to die. <laughs> and uh, you know that this person is one marked by the power of fire. It courses through his blood and burns with a fury unknown to most mortals. Oh. But it takes you like a while to wrap your head around that. So for the most part, you're just standing there in kind of, I wouldn't say all. But confusion, yeah, I would guess. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Can I discern realities if I even know that dude? You know him. Um. So. Uh, do I though? Because we were pretty fucking drunk. Uh, I have no a face. That. That's up to you. Okay. Um. But then I don't remember that face. Okay. Who the fuck is that guy? So tomorrow you were asking some questions there. Go for it. Now, so, who are you and why are you here? I, why am I here? <laughs> Good question. I'll answer that shortly. But I'm Odell. A guy. A Answers. Like, Lord of Fire. I, I, I'm like, you know, have you watched Game of Thrones? Like, you know, Brienne of Tarth. Like, that's yeah, how, is. that's what Damari looks like almost. Buff to death. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah, watched Game so, of Thrones. So, why are you here? To adventure and get gold. This is... Why did you... 
Why are you in this location? How, how did you teleport? Why are you in this location? We are, uh, we are on a quest. I was hired to examine this, this cave. Damari, let me maybe um, uh, keep the pressure up with your strong arms. And I step forward and I look at him. I don't know that dude. Um, and I say, let me be charming and open with you, my friend. Uh, that lady there, she's pretty good in wrecking necks and breaking bones. So if you don't tell us the truth, she'll just go snap, snap. And she's in a pretty foul mood since a few days. Being charming and open, I would like you to ask, uh, to ask you the question, what is it you most desire? And you have to answer truthfully. You're then allowed um, to ask me a question yeah. back. In the situation, this is definitely a threat and does not fall under charming and open, no matter how you <laughs> okay. try and skin it. Okay. But in this situation, heart. how does uh, Hentai, um, how does Odell respond with a question to you that you have to answer? It it just doesn't work because you're you're pinning her down. You need you okay. need to show more kindness I, than a threat I, to be charming. I open. have I have already answered you, fellas. I'm here for gold and glory. I, I don't like don't coincidences, like, guys. I don't feel like that's the whole story here. <laughs> it is the whole story. What else could there be? Maybe he's with the goblins. Oh, I'm there's still the goblins. The goblin? Maybe that's he's man. an evil wizard that lives here. Um, no, I'm I'm a fire person. Emulator <laughs> is the official title, I believe. Sorry. <laughs> I, I think he's mad. <laughs> well, you are quite mad at me right now. Would in my adventuring gear would I have some special shackles out of special metals that prohibit magic users from no. casting magic? Most definitely not. Okay. Ah, uh, but ha ha ha! I take off my belt of dwarven Durugas belt with a dwarven runic inscription that he can't surely read. Do you read dwarven, Nodel? I don't believe so. Okay, and uh, I take that belt, and while my friend there holds him, I bind his hands with it and clasp the belt shut and I look him dead in the eye and say, this belt is dwarven magic, it's curse. Should you cast any spell while the spell uh, is binding you, um, well, basically, shit's gonna go down. And you see, there are runes, dwarven runes, on this belt. Okay, so as you wrap this around, um, Damari, what are you doing? Uh, well, now that he's uh, securely locked, well, uh, I'm not sure if I should believe Lena here. I'll go along with the bluff and uh, I like get up and uh, raise Odell up as well and hold my hand on his shoulder, like preventing him from running anywhere and just uh, maybe pat, pat, he, pat a little dust off his shoulder like uh, so uh, sorry about the rough, roughness earlier but this has no, been a thank rough you. That's few very nice of you so as they as they help you up and bind you 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 see the the interior of this this cave and it's much as i described earlier there's this rotting wooden portcullis and you can see maybe like <coughs> just on the horizon as the sun dips below there's this burnt husk of a tree and you can see all these baying wolves like dancing around it like some sort of uh, amnestic uh, ritual and Sybil you, you managed to, to pull your, your mind to the front and you like steal yourself what do you do? well firstly uh, have we determined if this fellow that came out of the portal is friendly no <laughs> we've got no fucking idea well then we should proceed and use him as our human torch. <laughs> How about we just shiv him? We are four people, right? Can you I? Can be fantastic four. <laughs> human Is any torch. way to use the uh, certain sorry. realities Different on people? Humans. Not in this situation, no. Uh, the certain realities is more of a way to get information out of the, the world. Yeah. 
Like, this is this is really up to Odell to, to do some convincing. Uh, so, Odell, uh, what do you do? These, these guys, people don't uh, seem I, to trust you. Perhaps because of your I, teleporting I'm, from I'm, I'm, I'm quite honoured, but do you guys really think I myself could take on all you three? Fuck, you might be a fucking demon! Yeah. Uh, I, 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 can you've I, never heard of fire people? Can I get my bardic lore? Beast theory of creatures unusual. Is there something like a fire demon? Uh, I'm afraid that you have not been confronted with it. Um, and I believe your bardic lore triggers whenever you encounter a new uh, Cre thing. Yeah. yeah. But if there were no, a thing like a trigger. fire demon, it would it have triggered now? You are sure that you haven't heard any tales about this particular individual? <laughs> it's it's all the fuzzy kind of blur. Maybe if you had drank less. Okay. But, yeah, but yeah, what were you <laughs> saying, Hentai? Uh, Odell? Yeah. Um, but uh, oh, I don't know your character name. Uh, Mike, what's your character name again? Uh, uh, Lena. But we met before, right? Don't you remember? No. Oh, you break my heart, honey. We we <laughs> drank. We drank a lot one time. A Don't lot. honey me, dude. I have no idea who you are. But I know who you are. Yeah, everyone knows who I am. I'm Lena the Bard. Would would a demon know who you are? I mean, I don't know. Are you? Demons. Famous among demons. Do you play demonic music? <laughs> Probably even demons listen to my songs. I don't know. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows are me. You, that's not. That's not giving are you, you any Are you credit. saying you are an entertainer of demons? I entertain every sword as long as they pay. So uh, why are uh, you here? I, why are you here? I, I, I'm here for gold and riches. I've said it like 5,000 times. And how did you get the idea that gold and riches might be here? Well, you, you told me about the place when you were drunk. I, I was like, no yeah, such that sounds thing. like a good place to be. When? How many days ago was that? How, how many was it? I mean, it's Just at least more than a week, so pick a day. Uh, uh, all right, 69 days ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know where I was 69 days ago. I don't know where I talked 69 days ago. Well, you what? have a bad memory. You should how check it out. I would even know that it was 69 and not just 67 or 65. I, I have a really good memory. Say it, let's shank him. That guy is weird. Mm, I, I'm not sure about killing, uh, killing uh, unarmed opponents, but, but I that's the sort of crap. I agree with Sybil that we let him lead lead the way this time and see what's up ahead. He might prove useful Maybe the in our adventure. Since he can't explain his reasons any better, I think that's... I have already explained my reasons to Madman. <laughs> is there, in this cavern part where we are, is there a little nook where we could make a camp? Um, like, not really. Um, you're essentially just on the other side of a, a gateway. Uh, yeah, that but is a there a... Passageway. a you haven't, haven't uh, explored or anything. But okay. um, now's a good time to take a break, so we'll come back in a little bit. <laughs> And, and... <laughs> <laughs> See you after the commercials.